the icbi the nippon foundation mathematics package for uh, teachers rectangular uh, pathways uh, part 2 now assume that you have uh, the rectangular pathway on the outside of the field the pathway on all sides of uh, the uh, plantation area as equal width equal width in that case you will get agpm e b n q r o c h and x s f d the four boxes that you get in the corner of the field uh, they are square in size and uh, you have uh, the four rectangles of uh, the pathway two on the opposite side are equal so by adding the four squares in the corners and then the rectangle on top rectangle at the bottom rectangle on the right rectangle on the left by adding all these things you get the total area of the rectangular pathway uh, so let us mark the different boxes as one two three four five six seven and eight so first of all let the child explore yeah box one is a square box two is a rectangle box three is a square box four is a rectangle box five is a square box six is a rectangle box seven is a square box eight is a rectangle why the corner boxes 1 3 5 and 7 are squares because the width of this path is uniform in all four sides of the field now suppose we take the one path on the top let us call that as path 1 right path 1 is inclusive of the area of box 1 plus area of box 2 plus area of box 3 now the first one is path 1 now the path 2 is the path on the right side of the field so we can call that as path 2 path 2 is nothing but the square 3 plus square 4 plus square 5 now let us take uh, the path 3 path 3 so when you take path 3 independently it is nothing but the areas of the box 5 box 6 and box 7 that means 5 plus 6 plus 7 right now when you take the path on the left side independently that is path 4 now here we get the areas of box 7 8 and 1 that is areas of box 7 plus 8 plus 1 so now how many are there when you take uh, the path separately there are 1 2 3 in each path that means no there are 12 there are 12 now actually you have to add only 8 that means the child should understand that you start with 1 and 2 add 3 and when you add the next path you have to delete the 3 and start with the 4 and 5 when you go to the third path you delete that 5 and then start with the 6 and 7 
when you go to the fourth path you delete the seven and then start with seven and eight uh, one is already in included in path one so you have to delete that so the child should understand that as independent paths you are taking the corner squares when you add them together the overlapping of the corner squares must be deleted so that means one three five and seven should appear only one time in the calculation of the rectangular pathway uh, this is one of uh, the ways of uh, calculating the total area of uh, the rectangular pathway the other method is if you are not interested in uh, each sub area of the pathway if you are interested only in the total area of pathway another method is uh, taking the outer area that is ab multiplied by ac and uh, to calculate uh, the inner area of the rectangle that is mn multiplied by mo and uh, subtract the inner area from the outer area that means ab multiplied by ac it is the outer area and then minus inner area is mn multiplied by mo okay so there are different ways of calculating the rectangular pathways